everyone, it's Raina Hara from the California Landmark Foundation, and I'm out here with California Historical Landmark number 488, which is a site of Fresno City. As you can see, we've decorated it up today because tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, and this site needs your help. Fresno City came into existence about 1855, here on the banks of the Fresno Slough. This Fresno was located 30 miles east of current Fresno, which at the time didn't exist. Millerton was the county seat, and lots of supplies came into Fresno City and then were hauled by mule to Millerton. A pier was built to accommodate flatboats and barges that could make it up the shallow slough. Warehouses, houses, and the Casablanca Hotel were also built, and in 1858, it became a station on the Butterfield Overland Mail Route. By 1860, the telegraph line had arrived, and Fresno City became the terminus of telegraphic communications between San Francisco and points east. Fresno City appeared to be thriving, and a much larger town was planned. But the Butterfield Line closed in early 1861. The Great Flood of 1862 did great damage, and the city was practically abandoned by 1865. Today, there are no traces of it left. On August 7, 1951, with the efforts of Emery Ratcliffe, the site was registered California Historical Landmark number 488. The following year, the Fresno County Historical Society dedicated a stone and bronze monument commemorating Fresno City. Sometime in the 1960s, vandals stole the bronze marker and partially destroyed the stone monument on which it was placed. And just like the old town of Fresno City, this monument too has faded into oblivion. Once again, we're teaming up with the Bill Beaver Project to save this landmark. Tuesday, December the 1st, we are holding a fundraiser to replace this plaque. Last year, we were able to replace the plaque at the site of San Joaquin City, and it was a really, really proud day. I want to thank everyone for being a fan, following the page, and supporting our mission, which is to maintain and preserve California State Historical Landmarks. I hope everyone stays safe in this time and have happy and safe travels. Goodbye, everyone. For more information on how you can help preserve and maintain California state landmarks, please visit our website at www.savethelandmarks.org. You can also find us on Facebook at California Landmark Foundation.